Hello, all you bladers. This is the episode 47 Beyblade Burst Sparking Review. So, we get a scene where Free remembers the first time he meets Hikaru and Hyuga, and he does that thing with the eyes where he gets excited. And then Silas remembers the first time he meets Hikaru and Hyuga, and he's getting kind of annoyed remembering that Hyuga kind of bodied him. And then Free and Silas kind of have a moment where they're just talking, and then they show the scoreboard where Shu and Vault, Shu and Lane are in the lead, and then Free and Silas are at the bottom. Uh, Fafnir goes into the battle with Absorb Mode, and then we get the first scene where they're all going around with their Sparking Shoot launches, and then what happens after that is uh, Hikaru and Hyuga start attacking Free and Fafnir, and then they're kind of like teaming up, and then Free does this thing where he dodges their attack by going... Oh, he's in counter mode apparently. Counter mode. But uh, yeah, he dodges, and then he he uh, kind of does the reverse, where he's supposed to drain the person's power, but he actually gives power to Silas, and because of the universe's driver's round rotation, Silas picks up speed in the storm plates, and then um, Fafnir's like, what are you gonna do now? Kind of like Lu what Louie did to him, and then Free is uh, attacking Hikaru, and Sisko is attacking Hyuga with uh, Hyperion Burn. And then H Hikaru's like, I gotta help Hyuga. So Hikaru powers up. And I'm pretty sure this move is only activated when using his Limit Break. But he does a new move called Volcano Bound, which I don't think he should have had access to because he wasn't Limit Broken yet. But he uses the Bound gimmick to uh, send Fafnir back with Defense. And then, um, he comes in and comes in towards Satan and Hyperion. This, uh, background looks really nice. And then he knocks Sisko out of the stadium, and Sisko knocks Hikaru out of the stadium. So it's, like, kind of a simultaneous knockout. So Tomb lands first. So now it's Hikaru versus Free. No, Hyuga versus Free. And Hikaru's like, give it all you got, Hyuga, you can do this. And then Hyuga's doubting himself for a moment, but then Hikaru does the thing with the eyes where he's, like, determined. And then he uh, pulls through, and Hyuga does the limit break and kind of knocks Fafnir out. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, in this battle, it was kind of, I mean, I think what they were trying to do in the beginning is that they were trying to split the bays up so they couldn't do their twin strike and so they couldn't get their limit break off of each other. Which was a good strategy if Hikaru hadn't used that bound gimmick on Fafnir, which I don't think he would have had access to because he wasn't limit broken yet. And then also, Fafnir was in absorb mode, but then the second scene he was in counter mode. And then when he was attacking Hikaru before that, he was in Absorb Mode. So was Fafnir in Absorb Mode or Counter Mode? Like right now, he's in Absorb Mode. But when he was attacking uh, Hyuga, and then when he was uh, giving power to Silas, he was in Counter Mode. So that's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this episode. We're getting close to the end of Sparking, so the final battle is coming up. Next episode is going to be Shu in Lane versus Vault and Rintaro, which is definitely going to be nice. I'm hoping personally that it'll just be Vault versus Shu because I don't really like Lane interfering and always winning the matches and Rentaro is cool but we never got to see Vault versus Shu in Super King so this could be our chance to see the faded battle. Hopefully we get that. If we don't, bummer but I guess that's fine because that's how Super King has been going lately so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and peace out.